All right, after getting off that bike, over to seated leg curls, as always, after a bunch of different warm-ups and feeder sets, just to get into the right spot, both warm-up and mentally, um, into a triple drop set. And again, just going absolute failure here, trying to make my hamstrings work as hard as humanly possible, getting a huge contraction, controlling that negative, almost up to full stretch, and then writing that day down in the next rep. Just like with hamstrings, I want to make sure on this adduction machine that I warm up really, really well because I do not want to tear that muscle. I'm extremely paranoid about that. <laughs> if, if you do this exercise right when you're warming up, it should feel like you're growing always wants to rip or snap off the bone. So again, make sure you're really good and warmed up. And then once I got warm, uh, after about three or four sets, I use that new gym pen discount code that I have. It's C Edmonds 10. If you're interested, they do ship international. Uh, it comes from UK and I got it in under a week. It's a high quality product. And again, as you can tell, I've loaded as much as three quarters on this thing before on a back piece. So in this video today, I just simply pinned an extra 25 pound plate on there. The stack's only 200. And then I just go to absolute failure, rest a minute, and then do a back offset. Next up, belt squat. So I'm really good and warm from the seated leg curls and adduction. I'm gonna get into doing a handful of warm ups because again, my quads aren't ready, so I need to do some warm ups here. But the work sets, I had six bands uh, on this belt squat by Rogue, and my work set, it was my first one was with three plates aside. I was doing a three count negative, and I, my goal was to simply get eight reps. Then I stripped a plate, got down to two, and then from there, it was a five count negative. Again, neither one of those sets were true, like all out failure. I'd probably say the RPE there was around eight or nine, but this is getting a lot of blood into my quads before I move on to hack squat. dog favorite here cluster set on the hack squat work up the four plates and then from there on the reverse band I did a set of eight pause for 20 seconds I did four cuz that band slipped so I was getting less help fixed the band and got back on my last and third set here of the cluster and got five reps oh.
right, let's polish off these quads. So I went over to the hammer strength plate loader machine here for leg extensions. And what I try to do here is leave my foot almost pulled towards me or what you would see to be neutral uh, foot position. And then I'm gonna squeeze each leg hard. What I'm really trying to target here is the rect fem. So that muscle that's kind of V-shaped at the very top of my quad. And I wanna squeeze that as hard as possible. You can see my hands sitting on top of it. So when I feel it, I wanna feel it tight, short, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then we're gonna walk over and stay on that same leg and do a banded Bulgarian split squat. If you'll notice, I have my heel elevated to really force my quad to do a majority of this work. Now, while I still fill up my hamstrings and glutes, 100%, but I'm trying to get a majority of that focus on the quads because this week I ended up hitting legs twice. So today was a primarily quad focused workout. Even though I still hit the seated leg curls and the abduction, the majority of the work here today is gonna be all quads. So if you have one of these ramps, it works really, really well. You can stand on plates, obviously, or a two by four. Um, but the main thing is I'm just gonna hold on to something so I can brace myself. I don't wanna focus on balance at all because at this point in the workout, my quads and legs are just trash. So I'm just trying to put the finishing touches on them and really blow out those quads. All right, to finish this leg day up with some seated calf raises. I don't do these standard because at this point, I don't even wanna focus on keeping my body weight up because my quads will be shaky. So with this uh, is a John Meadows favorite, it's gonna be 10 reps, 10 second hold at the top, 10 reps, 10 second hold, 10 reps, 10 second hold, and I'm done there. I did two working sets just like that with a plate and a quarter, and it's absolutely brutal. But that puts the fending touches on a primarily quad focused day uh, to finish up with some calves, because honestly, who can, you never have too many big calves. Ah.